Yeah, hi guys, this is Nikhil. So today I would like to take a problem from analog electronics, uh, basically transistor biasing circuits concept. Now the question here is, now you have got to see this particular uh, CE configuration am amplifier over here. You are supposed to draw the DC load line for this particular problem and also indicate the Q point, mention the Q point on that particular DC load line. So first things first, uh, let us make the DC load line. And you know how to make a DC load line. DC load line is basically made on output characteristics, isn't it? So output characteristic essentially drawn between VCE and IC. So here is the output characteristic on the Y axis IC is there, on the X axis VCE is there. And uh, this particular straight line is the DC load line, isn't it? DC load line. And this DC load line basically intersect a point on VCE and uh, on X axis also. On the both axis it is intersecting those points. We have to find out those points. So the point where it intersects the x axis on the voltage axis is called as cutoff point. Why? Because you see here, here there is some voltage, but at this point, what is the value of current? Zero. So current zero, there is voltage, means it is a switching operation, cutoff, off switch operation. So what is that VCE cutoff? Generally, that will be equal to the collector bias voltage VCC. Okay. And uh, next, this point on the current, what is that value of current? So basically, that current is called as saturation current. Why? Because Current is there, but voltage at that point, what is the voltage? Zero. So you call that region of operation as saturation mode and this is cutoff mode. And that value of saturation current IC sat will be equal to VCC by RC. Okay. So we, we will find out those values now. We will try to find out. So IC sat is equal to VCC by RC. So in the question already it is given, VCC is 20 volts and this is RC, collector resistance is 4.7. So 20 by 4.7 will give you 4.25. So this particular point for DC load line is 4.25 milliamperes. Okay. So this IC also which is there will be generally in milliamperes only. Next uh, VCE cutoff we have to find out this particular value. Okay. That is equal to VCC which is nothing but 20 volts. So we got the DC load line. Now on this load line at some point there lies this Q point. Now this Q point is defined by VCE and particular ICE, particular VCE and particular ICE. That we have to find out based on the operating conditions of that particular circuit. Now look at this particular CE amplifier. Now there is a biasing, isn't it? There is a bias. Can you comment what kind of biasing it is? Yes, it is called as collector to base bias or it is also called as base bias with collector feedback. Means RB feedback is coming from the collector side to base. Fine, right. First and foremost, what we have to do is we have to mark the directions of current over here. So, current, you know, current entering, this is the base terminal, isn't it? That is IB. And this is emitter terminal going down IE. And obviously, from here must come what? IC. But it is not just IC because you see here, you are getting IB. But from where you are getting this IB? Not from this V in, this V in represents the AC signal input, AC signal input. Now you are drawing DC load line, that means you are not applying any AC signal. And only under DC condition, under DC condition what is a capacitor? Capacitor is an open circuit. So just open circuit this capacitor fellow, it is nowhere useful for us now. Okay, capacitor has been open circuited. Now do the analysis. Now this IB also must come from VCC only, the supply only must provide the IB also. This is the IB. That means RC is carrying, supply is giving IC plus IB. So the current through RC is IC plus IB. Now I will take this input loop, this loop and I will apply KVL over here on this loop. So on that loop, what is the KVL? VCC minus IC plus IB into RC minus IB RC in this particular resistance minus VB here, there is VB also, isn't it? VB is there, don't forget about that. And this VB value will be 0.7 for silicon transistor. There is IC over here. IC you already know beta plus IB. So I will substitute IC is equal to beta plus IB. Then I will take IB common overall. And I will rewrite the expression like this. And finally I will get the value of IB like this. Substitute the values then I will get 15.5 microamperes. And you know IC is equal to beta times of IB. Here beta is 120 given in the question. Here it is mentioned see here. Okay. So beta value is 120 and the substitute here and I will get 1.86 milliamperes as IC value. So you got the you got the value of IC how much 1.86 milliamperes 
So this particular Q point which is there, its value is 1.86 milliamperes over here. I need to find out the value of corresponding VCE here. So to find out the value of VCE, what I will do is, I will take another KVL equation on the output side. So where will be that output side KVL? Like this. From here I will take another KVL. And this particular voltage here is VCE. Right? Now applying this new KVL, that will be equal to VCC minus IC into IB into RE, RC minus VCE voltage is equal to 0. From here VCC is, VC is equal to VCC minus IC into I, IB. And we can write down YC plus IB is equal to IE and IE is equal to 1 plus IB, 1 plus beta into IB. So 1 plus beta is 121, IB is 15.5 into 10 power minus 6. Just substitute these values over here, then you will get VC is equal to 11.15. So you got VC value also, which is equal to 11.15. So VC is 11.15. So the problem is done. You have find out what is the Q point, you have drawn the load line. That's it. Now, if I were to ask you, what is the mode of operation of this particular transistor, saturation mode or active mode or cutoff? Obviously, you can find out if it is on the DC load line in the center, almost approximately at the center. It is at active mode only, but mathematically how to prove it? Mathematically, you know, IC sat is equal to 4.25, already that we have found out. What is the present operating IC? 1.86 milliampere. So when present operating IC is less than IC sat, then it is at active region. Mathematically also you can prove this. That's it. Thank you for watching.